So today we're going to do another science experiment. This one was given to me by one of our friends. Tim suggested that we should see what happens when we make a balloon all staticky and put it near a stream of water. So first we're going to talk about static. So when you have a balloon, you rub it on your hair, you can a lot of times get it to stick to your shirt. Like that. So when things are staticky, it <clears throat> makes it attracted to it. So just like your hair, when you go down a slide, sometimes your hair gets very staticky and tries to attach to the slide. So we're going to see if water acts the same way with a staticky balloon that are closed and other things do. So to do this experiment, what we need is a balloon, a bowl, an empty cup, a cup of water, some food coloring, a tack, and a spoon. So first what we need to do is we need to make a hole in the bottom of our cup. So you're going to take your tack. I'm going to make kind of a little bit of a big hole. Push it through. Say hi to Wasabi. Just checking out what I'm doing. So now I have a big hole in the bottom of my cup. <clears throat> You are definitely going to need someone to help you to do this. This is very hard to do by yourself and messy. So the next step is to take your food coloring and you're going to turn your water, whatever color you want. You don't have to use food coloring. It makes it easier to see the water in a video, but if you're doing it at home, you can just use regular water. So then the next step, because I'm by myself and I don't have someone to help me, I'm going to use my finger to cover the hole in the bottom so that way no water escapes yet. <clears throat> and I'm going to pour my cup of water into my cup with the hole. Make sure Wasabi doesn't drink it. Hello. Hi. Okay. So the next step is to take our balloon, get it nice and staticky. I'm going to try to use Wasabi to help me and my hair. Let's make it nice and staticky as you can see. Very staticky. All right. Next step, push this closer, is take the balloon and put it near the stream of water. Cover it up. Yeah. Try it off a little. <laughs> Try to make it all staticky again. And see how it kind of bends toward the balloon a little bit. <clears throat> Try it one more time. Oh, my hair is a mess. Just try to get close to the balloon as it comes out. Oop. I'm gonna try to show it to you closer up. So give me one second to make that work. All right, so now I filled up my cup again. Let's see if we can look at it a little bit closer. Let me get my balloon. All staticky with my hair. And now let the stream go. See how it tries to pull it closer to the balloon? Let me dry it off a little. Get it nice and staticky. <laughs> Get it close to the balloon, but don't make it touch the balloon. The water will do that for you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. So maybe sometimes you need to move the balloon a little and it helps move the water. Or maybe you just need a smaller stream. My hole could have been too big for the balloon. Don't know. Remember, we are scientists. So we take our labs, <clears throat> look at what we're doing, and we have to try to find a different way to fix it if it doesn't work. So for me, if I was going to do it again, I might try to find a different size hole. And then maybe it'll help it work better. <clears throat> Another way you can do this experiment is if you <clears throat> just have a balloon, you can go to your sink and use the faucet to try to make it work. Let's see if we can do that right now. Alright, let's go to the faucet. <clears throat> So sometimes it might take a little bit of trying different things out to really get it to do what you want. Wow, awesome. <clears throat> so if you have balloons at home, maybe you can try it, try to find something else. If you do try it, let me know how it works later this week. I think <clears throat> in one of my videos, I might try to make a cake and let you guys watch and see how I do it. And if you have any other ideas about experiments you want me to try to do to show you, I am open to any ideas and I love trying out new things and seeing how they work. So let me know. Bye. I miss everyone. And thanks, Tim, for the idea.